Hello, welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm going to make another modified dragon flower. Again, inspired by Petra. Thanks, Petra. I will um, either tag her or in include her YouTube channel um, in this video because she's an amazing inspiration. That one also was inspired by her. Um, I just choose the colors and use different products. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to start off by putting this in the center. It is a mixture of black and gold stones. And what I did is I had some leftover resin and I added these to the resin and dropped them onto a silicone mold to try to, um, make centers. And I find they work really, really well. You just put them in the center, make sure it's where you want it to be to go over a little bit like that and just press down a little bit and it creates because it was cured in resin it will um excuse me i got a little hair there by the way if i have if you haven't heard me say it lint rollers are the way to go they're not super sticky and they won't make your mold stick anyway um i have found that because they were cured on resin like on i mean on silicone flat then they make a nice seal and they they rarely move which is nice and there you don't have to add it afterwards anyway um so i am making this using istoyo resin i-s-t-o-y-o -O, and it is a nice low viscosity resin you may have heard me talk about it before um so i mixed up 180 mils of it this part of it i left clear i made some of it opaque white i made i heard ambulance Sorry about that, if you can hear it. Um, I made some of it a dark green. I made some of it a black mica powder using a generic mica powder. Oh, and the green I made with Let's Resin Pigment Paste, which as you can see are well loved. Um, and then finally, I made some gold, which is um, Curate Color Gold Mica Powder, and I believe that's from Michaels. Um, and the stones I got on Amazon, I will try to link those also. Hopefully I'll remember. All right, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to add my green. Just dump it right in there. The thing I think I like most about this pour is that it's just, you just dump stuff on top of it and then you add some petals and bam, you're done. <laughs> it's not super complex. It's just... I don't know. It's just great. And it is a version of the dragon flower. Normally the dragon flower is just one color and, um, and then the petals and the clear, etc., or, or a light color anyway. All right. Now I'm going to add the black and it will even out in the mold. So you don't have to worry if it's not covering the entire bottom of it. It will, <laughs> it will by the time we're done. You're just adding some increments, you know, the largest amount is going to be the green, then it's going to be the black, um, then a little bit of clear. And then finally, I'm going to add some gold and that has the smallest amount. So, all right, here we go. I also like having that center there because it gives me like a reference of where to pour my stuff. Not that it matters completely if you pour it exactly on center, but I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of OCD about that kind of thing. Um, so, all right, so now I'm going to torch it. I need to refill my torch. I'm not gonna worry about getting it perfect because bubbles are gonna be coming out of this for a while. In fact, there's still bubbles coming out over here. Might as well get that while I'm over here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my petals with my white. I'm just gonna clean this off real fast so that it is a reusable um, popsicle stick. So I try to clean them off right when I'm done so that they don't get sticky and yucky. I like to reuse things whenever possible. I actually have some reusable um, silicone mixing cups. It's just kind of hard. 
um, you have to wait for them to dry to clean them. Um, and so it ties up a lot of resources. So I do tend to use paper for that, but um, this depends. All right, oh, you can see that green moving in really nicely. All right, so I'm gonna make my pattern, my flowers, my flowers, my petals. I mean, it is a flower, I guess. So I'm making petals and um, I think Petra changes directions. Some other people change the direction when they do their petals, but I am not going to. I am just gonna keep going the same direction that I started. It's just easier for my little brain to keep track of when I'm trying to talk and pour at the same time. Not that great at multitasking, I don't think. So this will make my life easier if I just pour it all in the same direction, right? Right. Somehow I got off center. <laughs> don't know what happened there. All right. So now I am gonna pause it for just a second because everything is gonna move in and I don't wanna make you have to sit here and, and watch it. It only takes a minute or two, but I don't wanna also have to figure out things to talk about. And I'm not that um, sophisticated that I can, <laughs> can do like a fast forward through this so that you don't have to watch it all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I barely get my photo editing, my video editing done, you know, and I'm sure you found mistakes in it before. It's not that great. So um, anyway, that's why. All right, I'm going to pause it just for a second. It should not take long at all. Okay, I am back. It has kind of slowed down moving. I don't know that it's going to move a whole lot more at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour my next rose, my next row. I'm only going to do one. I generally start to get low on the white about now, so I try to make sure my petals aren't giant and that they aren't quite as thick, I don't think, as when I started, because I would hate to run out. I mean, I could make more because I have this clear sitting over there, but I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. I, uh, I love how this all just continues to push everything through to the center and the petals just look so cool. I mean, sometimes I'm tempted to kind of just leave it like this and see what happens. And maybe one day I will, but I'm kind of a, a recipe follower, I guess you'd say. So I'm gonna pour my clear in and see where this goes. Um, I'm gonna pour it in steadily but it does not have to be a big giant splash because that's not going to do you any favors okay and i'm just going to scrape out to the center as much as i can so that it's full i think that is full all right you can see that beautiful center that we've got going in there and now everything will start to move to the middle I will leave it here to cure, and then in a couple hours, if I'm still awake, which I don't know if I will be, it's already after 10. Uh, if I'm still awake in a couple hours, what I do is I take and I move it to my curing mat, which I love. I, one of these days I'm gonna get a curing machine, but right now I have a curing mat. And um, so I wait a couple hours for this to steady so that I can move it. Like when I go to pick it up, it's still, floppy but it's not the stuff on the inside is not moving around because you don't want it to move around and then I take and put it over there and I usually set my timer um, anywhere it has a two or four and like a 12 hour or something um, something crazy I've never ever ever used the 12 hour it also has like where you can just turn it on and turn it off but to me I'd rather have it on a timer in case I forget to come and turn it off then my house won't burn down or something because <laughs> you know it happens to people, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, so um, anyway, I'll probably put it on, I'll probably put it on for four hours and then I'll be able to unmold in the morning. If I am not awake to do that, then we will unmold tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work. 
All right, have a good one. I'll see you in a flash. Bye. Okay, it's time to unmold. What are we gonna have here? Oh, fingers crossed, it's something awesome. I know the last one I did, I had a little bit of space around the center, so I hope that's not the case for this. All right, ready? One, two. Well, it came out really cool. The space is very subtle. The colors do not match accurately what you're seeing there. This one is actually close. The blues show up worse. But you can see the gold in the center. It's just, it turned like a yellow gold because it mixed with the green. It, it was not a yellow gold, like a greenish yellow gold, I guess, instead of being gold gold like that. But, um, and then it's got the center around it. I think I'm gonna try to do this again and suck out the center. What do you think? I do love it though. I love the petals. I love everything about this. So let me know what you think. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye.